Has someone ever asked you for help and you realized you didn't know how to help them? But perhaps you did know someone who did. If so, today's learning snack is for you. I'm Joe Elfeld, CEO and founder of Insight to Leadership. And recently I've had the pleasure of being able to connect several people to other people in my network. And I wanted to talk a little bit about this because I think that is one of the most valuable things you can be as a networker is actually being a connector. So sometimes it's not in your band, Ballywick. Sometimes it's not something you know much about or have much interest in occasionally, but you still really value the people involved and you want to see, is there any way I can be helpful? And oftentimes the best way you can be helpful is thinking about, is there anyone else in my network who could be much more helpful than me to this person? And if so, offering to make an introduction. Now, and this is key, I didn't always used to do this, but I'm getting much better at it now. Before I make the introduction, I always check with the second person to say, are you open to this introduction? Are you willing to have so-and-so contact you? Because I find my, for myself, oftentimes when people connect me to someone, I feel like there's an expectation that I have time for that meeting when I actually don't have time for that meeting. And so now I check with both parties before making an introduction, and then I do. Am I perfect about this 100% of the time? No, sometimes I just get over enthusiastic and I say, oh, you should talk to my friend Bob. Bob would be amazing to help you. I'll, go, I'll connect you to Bob. And then I realize, ooh, I haven't actually checked with Bob, but now I feel sort of committed to introduce them to Bob. So nowadays, even if I have made that faux pas in conversation, I will often check with Bob or I'll go back to the initial person and say, I'm gonna check with Bob. I realize I can't commit to connecting you without checking with Bob. And it's just downgrading my initial enthusiasm a little bit, but it's also telling people that I respect their time and I respect the connection enough to not just share it willy nilly with anyone else who might potentially be useful. I've really learned this the hard way because I have a couple of friends who are not so open to connection. And um, several years ago, it's years now, I would have just offered them up and made a connection and then they would be really frustrated at me. So now I've learned not everyone has the same value for connection that I might have or that other people might have. So check with them first. So these are my two tips for today is think about who in your network can help, but then always check before making a connection. Okay, I hope this learning snack was helpful for you.